Okay guys, we're out here at 37 Spoonville. We are on a cul-de-sac. We are in Punta Gorda Isles. Just like the other three, this is just the furthest north. Beautiful tile roof, great curb appeal. We don't have a lot of room in front here guys, but when you see the outside, you'll see why. Nice big door, tall door, just like you guys want. Again, either tile or metal roofs are required in PGI. This is not quite 3,000 3, square feet, guys. It's a 4-3. But I can tell you right now, we've got some interesting things going on here. Tile throughout, but it is older tile. It is not, I think, what you are looking for, Jane, based on our conversation. It's a fantastic lot. I think the reason why it hasn't sold in 223 days is because it is grossly overpriced at 302 a square foot. Um, it is big and tall and has coffered ceilings, but this great room is not nearly as large as you can tell as the other ones. Uh, we'll head to the left. I want to show you the outside here, which is great. Uh, these sliders do open all the way, guys. I didn't open them all the way because it's so windy. I didn't want it to impede my, my voice so you, you could hear that. This has a great outdoor kitchen. Fantastic. I just think that this one you are going to want to do a lot of work in, Jane. It's already listed high. And I'll bet they got many offers. We have a lot of good outside space here, guys. Hot tub and kind of a kidney-shaped pool. But it is very long, Charles. Good for you. We got this awesome outside 140 feet of seawall. I'm going to take you guys down. We've got a davits. We've got a 30 foot concrete dock. We've got a lovely view here. Quite frankly, I think the view on Madrid was better. They're pretty close, but Madrid's a little bit more wide open. You have a little bit more privacy there. You've got a lot of outside space here. See, it's sloping. That's good. That means the elevation, like we were talking about yesterday, is higher here. See that slope, guys? So the elevation's higher. It is an AE flood zone, which means it's not below 9 feet. So that's good as far as insurance. If we come down to the nitty-gritty and you guys decide that you love something when you do, and when we find the right one, I'll be able to get estimates from my gal. Not a problem. So we've got more modern tile here. Since this is built in 2001. Really great outside shaded space. Now guys, it is uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And this is your pool. So at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, um, you have a great shade and still a, a little sliver of sun which is nice. I'm going to go back in here through the entryway so you can see it from this side. And then to the left of the front door is the master here. We've got a kind of a storage space here, guys. Again, very tall ceilings, coffered. We're good there. Good bones on this one. Tiles are smaller. They're not the big tiles. Bathroom, we've got a really nice single sink and large vanity here. You can see even the fixtures change. In my opinion, if you're the kind of Chicago gal that I am, uh, you would not want to live with those. You would have to replace those. But it is a great Locale, great house, great space. We also have a shower, seamless glass. And we have another vanity area with a second sink, separate commode, a small linen closet here. It's a nice en suite. Hot water heater is in your closet, but it's very nice built-ins here, guys. And a window as well. I would put a mirror down there. Your water heater's there. And then you come to the master, 
which also has great coffered ceilings, ample space. I think we've once those plantation shutters are open there, and it's a little bit better well lit. Might show a little bit better. The realtors here do not prepare homes, except very few of us, for showings. So yes, it's much better even with just the top ones open, guys. And that's nice, those are not real plantation shutters. Looks like that's where they have their cable. We've got plenty of space here. But it's nothing like this suite, again, that we saw in Madrid. But great space. You've got a door to the outside here. You've got a view right when you wake up in the morning of your pool and the water, really lovely. And then we'll go head out to the other side of the house and the kitchen in the middle. So it has what we're looking for floor plan wise. Split floor plan, high ceilings, coffered, nice tile, and lots and lots of room in the kitchen. We've got a, a lovely eating area here. Again, I think you'll need to change that fixture. And I'm not sure you're gonna really dig these cabinets, guys, nor the greenish kind of bluish gray granite there. You might care for it if we painted the cabinets a different color if we replaced the cabinets, guys. I think we could do something with that, but it's gonna definitely need some work, I think, in, in, your, in your opinion. We're gonna go back through. Ample space, great space. Got a great laundry here. Lots of storage there to the right also. I think is the garage. And you have a really great garage here, guys. Ta-da! Looks like they had some other little vehicles, possibly a golf cart or something in here, since there's this garage door on the side. So it's an oversized two-car garage. Plenty of space, two doors and lots of space out here for storage. This is really nice. Attic also. I don't know why we store things in attics because we don't look at them for 20 years and then have to clean them out. <laughs> but anyways, nice ample space here in the garage. Nice, great space here in the laundry, again. I do not think you're gonna dig those cabinets. I could be wrong, I'm frequently wrong, guys. Um, and then we have some doors out also from the third bedroom, which is quite large. It's almost like a second master, really, guys. There's a, a smaller closet here, uh, but then a huge room with built-ins. Looks like they're using it as an office, obviously, but uh, it could definitely be a really nice second ensuite bedroom here. Let me get you from the other corner. So you can see the beautiful view too. So there's some really interesting things going on in this home, guys. I'd be interested to see what you have to say. I'm gonna take you through the rest here. And we'll be done for the day, guys. And I will pantry in the kitchen. Really uh, interesting there, good way to organize even though no one's gonna really see it that much, it's, even though it's not that aesthetically pleasing. We've got those architectural details from the early 2000s here. We've got these fans here. Some people really like them, others don't. We've got a really nice wide area here, so when you're cooking, standing at your sink. You can see the kids in the pool and the adults can be in the living area. Your stove is here, and there is a little island here on the other side of our cooktop, which is a little awkward, but not a big deal in the big scheme of things. I think you guys have the idea. This 140 feet of seawall, when we spoke yesterday, remember I said the lot itself would be about 500, which would make the house, you know, somewhere around 400. And that is exactly what we're kind of looking at here. Obviously, the home is worth a little more than that. But um, I hope you guys have a fantastic evening. And I'll look forward to hearing your feedback.